Hello guys, uh, today's video uh, is another uh, application, uh, another uh, sidebar application. Okay, so here is the final product. So this is the first one for the translator, Google Translator, and I did, I did another today. So it's a it's an image uh, finder. So basically, you can search any image. Uh, in this add-on, so let me search some. Uh, that's a guitar. Guitar. Okay, so we found twenty photos. Okay. So all the pictures are here. So this is a this is a basic function for this uh, application. So. Uh, I use the uh, API from this uh, website, the Unsplash uh, uh, website. This is a very good uh, image website. So, and it's free, so you can use it. And you also, if you need to build an application like this, you need to have uh, have the developer account, and you need to have the API. If, uh, you need to have the API, API key, okay. Uh, here I think I have my apps. So I here have two applications. So, as once you have the uh, developer account, you can create the apps, and uh, once you have created any apps, you will have to, you can get the get the access key and a secret key, okay. This is very important, and uh, I will show you how to build this uh, add-on from the beginning. All right, uh, let's create a new file. Let's rename this file. And splash. Mm, okay. Let's go to the script editor. Rename this project to Unsplash. It's very slow. So first, uh, uh, so as usual, I need to build the menu, menu button. Okay. So where are UI? Splash. Okay, UI. So UI. Uh, create menu. This menu will be sidebar. Add the, you know, add item. Uh, the caption will be uh, splash and uh, the function will be show sidebar at UI save it and run Authorization. Okay, now we have the we should have the bottom here. 
add to UI. Not a state. Okay, the sidebar. And next, we need to build is a show sidebar function. Okay. So this is very similar to the to last video. If you uh, if you already uh, reviewed my last video, you can skip this these steps. UI create no longer create show show sidebar. And uh, I'm going to create this inside the user interface. Okay, one user interface will be HTML service. So create a HTML output from file. Front name will be um, splash.html. And I'm going to set a, set a title. Give it a title um splash photo this is work okay let's save it and create a file mm, splash html okay so um, splash .html and this file. So we are gonna create an HTML output from uh, this HTML file. And uh, so the basic structure is done. So if you click this uh, this sidebar function, now we have a sidebar here. Now we need to build the, the function to get the images. Okay, I got a function naming get images. And here we need to retrieve the images by the the API uh, the the Amblast web uh, website provides us. If we review the documentation for the APIs, uh, we here should have the. Okay, basically, this is their, their API. Uh, we can use this uh, uh, HTTP request to get the data from their uh, website. Okay, so here I have one example. this one so basically uh, if, you, if you send a request through this API you will get a result for uh, 10 items so here I gonna query for cat and by default you will you will return 10 items so in this result uh, array we I have I have uh, 10 items in it so for each each item is an image and uh, in this object is a uh, uh, detailed information for each uh, images as you can, here you can see you will have the ID for each image you have the URL for the image right this is then uh, the image what we want want to add, what want to find through this API okay so uh, in this project we are going to uh, Retrieve the ID and we all have the uh, URL for the image. Okay, so we may have the small image and uh, have the raw image. Okay, so let's do this. Let's copy this. So I copy the basic, the root. I think this is the API we need to use. So let's for API equals to so this is our uh, the root API and uh, we may have a query
so the query let's just uh, so this query will be a variable so for users uh, entered any any uh, search uh, keywords in this field okay so let's just so for now I just uh, say this this query is cat okay and and we need to have some other so this is very important this this key this access key so for access key so this will be our access key So basically, you should hide this access key in your application. So for this project, I, I, I want to show you, uh, we, we can store this access key in our project. Uh, here we have a script properties. So we can add the access key here. And the value will be the key. Okay, let's save it. And uh, to access this property, uh, we can use the property properties services so get script properties get properties so the key will be the access key so we can get the value from the up from the the properties okay so now this is the access key and uh, we need to add the parameters for this access key so the access key will be i think is uh, what's client I client id i think okay. and the query we also need to add the query will be query last query okay now we have the query we have the access key and the full API will be like this so the API will be the API itself and connect the query and uh, connect the we need to add an uh, end sign to add the access key so now let's do a log let's do a log so Let's hope we can get everything correctly. So let's run the cut images. Let's check the log. So now uh, this is uh, the full API, so we can try it in our browser. So, then, so this looks good, and uh, so we can go ahead. Okay. So basically, we are going to use uh, another API to to retrieve the so retrieve the the result we we can get from this API. So for the response, response will be we will use the URL URL fetch fetch So 
So I'm going to fetch the URL. URL. The URL will be the API, and we're going to get the content text. So this is this is a string, and we are going to parse this uh, this string with the, the JSON. Uh, so so this, this will be a JSON object. So JSON parse uh, parse text. I think so. The text will be the response. So let's log this uh, JSON object. Let's run it. We should have the same thing here in this object. So by the way, if you uh, so in your browser, you may uh, you may you may see something like this. So this is the raw data. And uh, I have an extension in my Chrome browser, so this rotate can, can be parsed like this. Uh, if you want to check the extension, so you just need to search JSON. So this is the name of this add on. So JSON formatter, you can install this add on in your browser, then you can have a very pretty view of the JSON file in your browser. Okay. Now we try to run it. I should have to redo this again. Okay, so this is a raw string, so this is the object. So this is a JSON object, okay. Just like the, this one, if you see the raw data here. So we now get the data. And to retrieve this data, uh, we are going to do a loop here. Since we have, we have result, we have 10 uh, items in the result, okay. And uh, we are going to var result will be JSON object. Uh, the ID will be this one result. Okay. So now we have an array. Since this result is an array with ten items. So this is an array, okay? So the result is an array. So let's uh, do a, a for loop. Var i in result. Var result will be result i. Okay. Typos here. And now we got the result. So the result in this result we need to. So this is the first one, okay. We need to check. We need to get the ID. So in each, uh, so each result is an object, okay. Uh, we need to get the ID and uh, we need to retrieve the URLs, okay. So for ID, so this is the image ID. The ID will be result ID in for raw so the raw URL will be result 
URLs and uh, raw. And then we have another image and a small URL will be result URLs to get the small you this is not correct so so basically a so we need to uh, need a variable to store all the images so let's do a variable uh, at the beginning yes actually we can do it at the beginning so for the images so the images will be an uh, object so let's do this so the images will do the images ID and uh, for the for the values of this object, I think it should be let's do a let's do a raw will be the raw URL and a small will be raw URL R number one small. URL okay so this is the object and we now have this uh, so this is the object so this this image is, is object and for each item so for each each ID we assigned an object in this object with a raw image and a small image okay so at last we're going to return return an object. So in this object we're going to have uh, so let's do the last uh, var image object will be so the first one is the image, okay. So the image will be the images. Let's do the same name. And uh, we'll we also add it to, to gonna have a count uh, count item. So this count will be the the length of this result. Length sync. Okay. Let's do a law image object OBJ and we also need to return uh, return this uh, image object. Save it and uh, try to run this again. see what happened okay now we have the first one so this is an array uh, pretty long array and uh, we have two uh, items in this object one is the images and uh, another one is a count the count is 10 okay so so this part so the part in this uh, app script is done, I think, so we can uh, run this function to get the object. And we also need to replace this query. So let's put this query here and uh, comment this line. So Let's do the part in the HTML. So basically, uh, we are going to have. Uh, so this is uh, 
tax, tax input field and I have a button and we have some uh, further information and we also have a div here this is invisible since there is nothing images in this in this div so we are to our HTML first so, so first div uh, so we also need to use uh, the Google uh, CSS package this is Google add-on okay this one and a jQuery let's copy this link let's copy copy and add it to the to the head and uh, jQuery 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 download it's Google oh, this is a Google version and uh, we need to copy this for yes this one added in the body session okay so in here will be our custom script okay custom script and uh, let's build the HTML first so we're going to have a div, the class will be sidebar, sidebar, close this div. So in this div we're going to have the first div will be class, uh, give it as a, a block, form group. Close this one. So let's copy this div. Copy it. One, two, three. See the first one. We're going to uh, input. Input the type will be text, and ID will be as name query. So this is our query field, and we give it, give it a placeholder. Placeholder uh, search images. Okay. Next div, we come to enter button. Button. So the class will be action. And the ID, let's name it, the name is search. Okay. And uh, it's caption to search. Now we have the button, and uh, so in this div, we just uh, keep it. Uh, as blank, so we give it an ID. The ID will be images. Okay, so the image images will be put in here, and in our final uh, final div, we'll just just give it a p a paragraph. So let's give it give it a class. Uh, Gray, I think. Do we have any class gray classes? And uh, the, the text will be powered by um, splash, and we'll give it uh, a tag. And here it will be. 
let's open this let's copy this and give it, give it rocket blank so if you add this this target is this if you if anybody clicked this uh, super link it will be it will open a new uh, new a new tab in your browser okay save it and uh, let's see what happened in our browser so now it is uh, is an empty sidebar let's refresh it okay now we have uh, so this is a link if you click it it will bring you to another place okay and I want uh, I want to add some I want to this uh, input was to be uh, wider okay so we need to some we need add some uh, class custom uh, style here style So for the input and the image, for the input and the image, I want to give the uh, the width to hundred percent. Okay, let's save it. Refresh. So now we are going to to build our images uh, with Jake Parby. So now here we have the uh, so function. So when the button is clicked, the button we have an ID for this button is uh, I think it's search. Okay. So the search click function. We're going to get the ver uh, get the query. So what the query is, the query will be the the value in the the text field text field ID. I think is query. Okay, this query field means the value. So now we get the query. Now we need to run. We need to run the to run this function get image function because we now have the query and uh, we need to use Google uh, script run so with success handler I'm going to uh, so if if the if the function runs successfully, we're going to run a function. So this function will be a function result. This function will be load images result. Result. and uh, run the cat images with the query so if the cat image runs successfully it will return uh, return an image object 
So this result is a, is a uh, image object. Okay. So now we need to build one more function. So this function, this load image function, we haven't built this this function yet. So let's build this function. Function. Okay. Let's build function here. Uh, function load images with a simple scale of variable that variable will be a uh, uh, image object. So obj. So in this image object, you will have two uh, two items in this object. One is images. One is accounts. First, uh, let's for for the images will be the image object. dot uh, images okay and uh, for account we have image of object dot account so now we get the, the image and the account so now let's we'll do uh, the, so the, this load image function will will load we'll add the HTML element to this uh, this div, so this image is div, okay. So for HTML uh, straight will be so we'll we'll have a we'll have a have a, a tag and a image tag here. Okay, so so for all the images we have put in 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 this uh in this div, so now we so this is HTML HTML we in this variable. So let's do object keys. So this object will be the images. Let's map this uh, this object, and uh, so let's do a callback function. Function so this ID. So this ID will be the the image. Uh, in this this ID will be the ID for this object. Okay. Let's return. So return uh, a tag, okay. So the attribute for this a, a tag will be. Do we have? A, let's say do we have a attribute. The first attribute will be the source. That's the hair, uh, not the source. Here we have. The health will be the the raw URL. Okay, so images ID dot raw. So the images. So here you can see the images. In so in the images we have the raw and the small. Okay. And uh, we also add a target for this uh, another target. The target will be blank, underscore blank. Okay. And finally. 
so this first one is the last HTML. So in this HTML, we're going to add the another tag. Is the image tag okay? Is the image tag? So the attribute for this image tag, uh, so it will have the attribute. First one is the source. The source will be the images ID. Images ID dot small. So I just I want to load a very small images in this uh, sidebar because the the raw image is too large to to load. It is loaded very slowly. And then add another. Do we have add another image? I think the source is okay. So. So I think that's it. So let's see what happens. Uh, I think we need to add another attribute. Is uh, alternate. That is ID. And uh, here we may need to add one more, one more div uh, above the, the images here. Let's copy this. We remove this ID. So give a p tag here. ID. This ID is result. Okay, so this result we are going to have some text in, information in this in this text. Okay, let's do it uh, at the very beginning. I think we can do that. We do it here. So the result we are going to have uh, some messages. The result HTML. The result is the p HTML will be, uh, I think, uh, photos, both font. Okay. How many photos to count? And uh, we also to load the images. So images. So this this is the D. This is a dollar sign. So the images will be will be this div. Okay, we are going to load the HTML. So HTML. I save it and and, and uh, try to run this. Uh, refresh. So let's try. Cat. Okay, so now we have the cat. Everything looks good, and we can do something else like uh, Cuda. Now we have 10, 10 photos. So if you want to find some more photos, you can add another. Uh, you can add another parameters in your API. Let me show you how to do that. So basically, so in this in this API, we can add more parameters. So let's get a let's say 
per page. So by default, the per page is 10. So now we change it to 30. And uh, let's see what happens. So let's refresh. Let's do Sakuda again. Sakuda. Now we have 30 photos. Okay. And if you something wrong, fresh. This is let's do Chinese, okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, three photos of Chinese can be found, and then we can click these images. So here I think is the, is the raw images, okay, and uh, here is the small images loaded in this sidebar. And uh, I think that's it for this video, and I hope you can learn something from this uh, application. Uh, not very complex, very similar to my last video about the sidebar. You only need to. Uh, the only difference is this API. Okay, we we are using this API. Uh, the, the API provided by the um, Unsplash. So this is very good uh, API for handling the image. Uh, how to scratch images on the website. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.